Hey you, this is Drew. Today we're getting in the spirit of Halloween by covering the king of vampires, none other than Dracula himself. The Dracula that we know today is pretty is a pretty cool character in the Marvel Universe, who was originally a man named Vlad Dracula, who was born in 1430 AD. Yeah, that's right, a man who, let me do the math real quick, uh, four, five, six, wow, he's almost 600 years old. But anyways, he wasn't born a vampire, he became a vampire after being a warlord for some time and being severely injured by En Sabanur, aka the mutant known as Apocalypse. Anyways, he was taken to get healed and, or at least so he thought, but he was actually taken to a vampire. But, um, so he technically, so he got vampire powers, right? So technically he was healed, right? So I guess he was, you know, what he was taken care of. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't know. What do y'all think? Okay, let me pause real quick. So Dracula had a diary, right? Nothing wrong with that. There's many men like that, you know, like Frank Castle. You know, they want to call it a journal if they want. After all, he has Punisher's war diary. I mean, war journal. <laughs> JK. But anyways, this guy, this guy by the name of Durenyi, I think is how you pronounce it. He stole it and released Dracula's secrets and weaknesses, which led to Bram Stoker making a novel over the famous Dracula that we all know and love. I mean, or should I say, no and fear. <laughs> JK, I'm not scared. Are you? <laughs> but anyways, he's had some run-ins with Frankenstein's monster, Lady Death, aka the toxic girlfriend and crush of Thanos, Nick Fury, and many more. Oh, and we can't forget about the, um, what's it called? The human vampire blade? Ah, I can't talk. The human vampire hybrid known as Blade. Everyone knows Blade, right? So he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thor. He's died and come back several times. He's got the usual weaknesses like vampires do. He requires fresh blood. He can't handle wooden stakes. And, you know, silver slows him down on his healing. But, you know, he also used not to be able to handle direct sunlight. But now he can after he transferred Wolverine's blood into himself. So that's pretty cool with a healing factor and everything. But anyways, so Dracula is a pretty cool character. Y'all let me know what y'all think and leave a comment below. And uh, let me know what spooky characters y'all want to see next. Like and follow for more. And thanks.